one of the most effective ways of checking corruption is when there's deterrence factor, which is to say, people see that those who get corrupt get the deserved penalties. Professor Dia so Ajiman slammed the practice country, of public office holders fingered in corruption activities being left off the hook with minor sanctions. In other countries, you discover that when officials are found to be corrupt, they are immediately uh, sent to the court and they are jailed, including the former president of South Korea. He served her tie in jail for corruption. So one of the things to do to deter corruption is to make sure there is punishment, they deserve punishment when the person is found guilty. I recall the, the case of uh, this former uh, procurement uh, agency director who was found to have been corrupt, took some money, and been asked simply to refund the money without any penalty. That is not the way to fight corruption. Put the person to face the courts, and if the person deserves uh, imprisonment, so be it. Otherwise, we cannot, we can never fight this war. At the just ended Aquasi Day at the Mencia Palace, Professor Duyajiman presented before the Asantehene some 30 tertiary students selected as beneficiaries of this year's John Ajikum Kufo Scholars Program. The program, initiated by the Kufo Foundation in 2016, is aimed at mentoring young people in leadership to serve as the country's future change makers. As they graduate out, at the end of the three-year program, a new one is inducted. So we have 30, and for the past uh, three years, we have been graduating 30, 30, 30. So it's, it's a program that is helping a lot. If you talk to the students who have gone through this program, you will be amazed about the impact that we have made on them. Beneficiaries of the Kufour Scholars Program, Alalbila and Richmond of KNUST, say they are empowered to help redirect Ghana's leadership crisis. It teaches me that every little opportunity I get to lead people, I should take it as an opportunity to save them, an opportunity to make a difference, an opportunity to put something there that my generations and even those coming after my generations will live to benefit from it. This is how Kufo Scholars Program has molded my leadership thinking and how I see the whole perspective of leadership. Kufo Scholars Program trains us to be accountable for each other. I, I, I see that um, if, if we are able to hold each other accountable, the problem of um, lack of nationalism and patriotism, there will be a change in that. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko. Kumasi. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about what